Hello and welcome to the betting picks video for the Sun Bowl. I am your host for Linus.com, Matthew Amato, here with my co-host Jacob Wayne. We got Washington State against Central Michigan. Who would have thought for the Sun Bowl? I mean, two very sunny cities in Washington, states in Washington and Michigan. Um, in this matchup that it's going to be overshadowed, obviously, by the college football playoffs later in the day, but... I do think you can have an entertaining matchup between these two, and I find the spread really intriguing. So, Jacob, where are you leaning with uh, Washington State and Central Michigan? Yeah, I'm actually weirdly, really excited for this game. Um, <laughs> I did the write-up for it, and I was like, oh, this is a weird game. Let's see what we got here. But the more the more I read about it and the more I wrote about it, the more I'm, I'm really enjoying this game. But I think Washington State is going to be interesting. They are going to be without Max Borgie, their leading rusher. who had over 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns as well as first team all pack 12 offensive tackle Abraham Lucas, but Jaden Delora had an awesome season. He was pack 12 freshman of the year and he really orchestrated an efficient offense that led the conference in time of possession. And I think he's going to be in for a good game here against a pretty weak central Michigan defense. But I also really like the central Michigan offense. Um, they had Lou Nichols offensive player of the year in the Mac over 2000 yards from scrimmage and 17 touchdowns. And then they have the potential first round pick at offensive tackle, Bernard Raymond, as well as Khalil Pimpleton, who is the special teams player of the year in the conference and is a threat to run it back on any of these punt returns and kick returns. So you just have a lot of explosive players on both sides of the ball. But then you have the coaching difference, which you would think the Power Five team would have the coaching advantage, but their coach left midway through the year due to some COVID 19 controversy. Um, and they have the uh, I think his name is Jake Dickert. I could be wrong. Uh, double check. But coaching in his first bowl game, and then you have Jim McElwain, much more experienced head coach. So I think just the talent on Central Michigan is better than a lot of people think. I think they should be here. I think people will see this and be like, oh, like they replaced Miami. They're not that good. Let's bet on the other team. But plus seven, I really like the spread for that. Yeah. I, first of all, I want to get out of the way. I like the over in this game. I, I do think this is going to be reminiscent of a Mac game. While Washington State does control possession a lot, they are going to be able to get big plays on Central Michigan. Um, and at 57 and a half, I think this needs to be closer to 65. Let's go over yeah. Central Michigan. They ended the year ridiculously strong. They lost to one point by Northern Illinois, who won the conference, had a fantastic bowl game against Coastal Carolina. They put up 54 and beat Kent State 54 to 30, another team that was competing in the championship game for the MAC. Um, they beat Western Michigan 42 30, cent, or uh, Ball State 37 17, Eastern Michigan 31 10. To end the year, they honestly looked like, in my opinion, the best team in the MAC. The only one came close was Northern Illinois, who ended up winning it. Yeah. In this conference, I think they had one of the better years in, in recent memory where all these teams look really competitive against other mid tier Power Five teams. Um, and I don't see why this one's going to be any different. I think Central Michigan will be able to move the ball. It's not going to be like Washington State has some crazy, ridiculous defense they haven't seen before. They should be able to put up their normal 35, 42 points in this one. And can Washington State match that? And I actually think they do. I think the overs are kind of my favorite bet. Um, yeah. But because I think it's going to be so close, I'm definitely on the Central Michigan plus seven side. <clears throat> Yeah, the uh, score prediction I had in my article was Washington State wins 34 to 31. Mm -hmm. So I definitely like the over. I mean, I think it could be even more high scoring than that. I wouldn't yeah. be surprised at all. Central Michigan did win six of their last seven games. The only loss was to Northern Illinois by one point, like you said. And yeah, they're just a really strong team. I think the Mac was awesome this year. And I, I hope people got to watch it because I, I had some of the most fun I had watching football this season in the Mac um, with those midweek Mac games. Uh, it was really fun. And yeah, I think it'll be cool to see this team play one more time this year. Yeah, I'm glad they're given the opportunity. I don't think this was... They definitely picked a team that can perform to replace Miami. I think they picked yeah. a team that will have a competitive game, and it'll just be a fun watch. Uh, this is a nice t a nice appetizer to the two semifinal games, honestly, in my opinion. like You get to watch a high-scoring, fun football game, and then you have two very intense matchups with Michigan, Georgia, and then Alabama and Cincinnati. Um, this this Central Michigan team is going to be so excited to be there. Like it's going to be oh, so yeah. cool, like the atmosphere. And Miami was going to be slogging through this game and like just kind of waiting for Cristobal to get there. And I think Central Michigan is going to be like, hell yeah, like we deserve to be here. Let's let's go out and play some ball. Yeah, I think looking at the game props, I do want to shout out my 
I just said the over is my favorite bet. Maybe my favorite bet is Mich- Central Michigan over 24 and a half. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'm not giving enough credit to Washington State's defense, who, if you watch the Pac-12, there's times where they actually looked really solid. But the Pac-12 was so bad, it's hard for me to judge a lot of these teams, if I'm honest. And I'm just going to back what I saw from Central Michigan, which was creative play calling and honestly, a lot of speed, a lot of just really good explosive action. And yes, it's in a conference that traditionally there's not a lot of defense being played. But I think they went up against a couple decent defenses, Kent State, Northern Illinois, and just absolutely put up points, 38 and 51. And I think they can do around that total at least 30 against Washington State. Yeah, I agree. I, I love the over on that team total as well. I mean, Washington State ranks middle of the pack in the middle of the pack in the pack <laughs> um, in both yards and points allowed. And I mean, that's a pretty weak conference. So it, it wasn't like they had a lights out defense despite yeah. that. So, yeah, I agree. I think the Chippewas are going to put up some points here. Yeah. And maybe we're getting too washed up in the whole Mac fantasy, but we'll see. We'll see when this one is all said and done. This is definitely not the game I'd be choosing to bet the house on or anything. There is, like I think Jacob said, there's a lot of unknowns coming in this game due to coaching changes, players opting out, to Central Michigan being thrown in late. But I do think it's an enjoyable game, and there is value in this game with that over Central Michigan 24.5, yeah. the total over, and Central Michigan plus seven. So I think that's going to wrap it up from us. Thank you guys for watching. As always, you can click subscribe. It really helps us out. You can also click the bell to get notified when these videos go up. If you like this one, drop a like. If you did not, a dislike and comment down below your favorite bets from this game. We'll see you for the next one very soon.